everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we are going to create the membrane, or the, I'm sorry, the membrane art pattern <laughs> in polymer clay. This pattern is somewhat similar to my honeycomb pattern, but very different in its construction and look. Here I have flattened out some of my white polymer clay on a number two or three setting of your Atlas Post machine, and I will now take one of these three pieces I have created here with my square cutter and make my first layer by using my Ateco circle and oval cutters by randomly cutting out pieces out of this square piece of clay. The more I used my Ateco cutters, I realized, you know what, I have to bring in the Kempers too. <laughs> so right here, I'm gonna add in my Kemper circle cutters to help create this design. Um, part of this is really due to the piece of clay I'm working with here. You do not have to make this a square piece of clay. It could be uh, just randomly whatever form you want it to be. But I use this particular square just for an, an example or a sample to give you an idea of how this pattern can look once you get it all completed. Okay, so here I am going to start removing the cutout pieces I created using my circle and oval cutters. This will then create like a cheese-like looking piece of polymer clay. And I will now have what is left over my square sheet, and I will now place that down on another one of those white square sheets of clay I had created earlier. I will then match that square sheet up with the top cheesy piece. <laughs> And then once I have that done, I will cut off any excess oh, pieces that are hanging over on the side of this square piece. This will then create my first membrane art pattern piece. The second pattern in this is actually taking another sheet of white polymer clay and we're going to go ahead and cut again more random circles and ovals in this piece. Once we have that done, we'll go ahead and take all the little cutout areas out and then place this square, this cheesy whole square piece again <laughs> and we're going to place that over the top of the other piece that we had just finished up. Now this second piece that I've just cut out, I'm going to go ahead and take in all those circles out yet again. I'm not going to match it up like I did that first piece. What we're going to do is we're going to place this really not dead on. It's going to be cut so that you want to make it with as much interest in all the little different open areas. So you might have to maybe tug and pull a little bit of your clay and it's just going to be off center a little bit so it creates more interest. So when you go ahead and do this technique, make sure that you just, you take that second piece that's going to lay over the top and create as much interest as possible. And then the pieces that hang over that square, you're just going to cut those flush or cut that area flush with whatever piece of clay you have on the bottom. This will then create your second pattern. Okay, so here are my results from creating my membrane art tangle in polymer clay. And if you would like to see more on this, please check me out on patreon.com where I have my extended version of this technique with some very fun possibilities. Otherwise, please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I am always wondering what you are thinking. And from here, I am sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.